Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. First, we're going to start with the signal automated to trade. And uh, we did very well today uh, with uh, the future, the micro accounts. Most of them has hit. And uh, now what we are doing, uh, we are adding some we are testing at the moment uh, the the cryptocurrency we're gonna add uh, the Bitcoin and Ethereum so those here now we are still working on those uh, signals we're gonna add them but uh, the rest of the future market they all in the green and um, we're doing very well uh, with this so this is a new system uh, a new upgrade system we are working on and uh, also uh, it's gonna add uh, a reversal signal on it and we already uh, added uh, a re-entry signal and it's coming a reversal signal uh, on those uh, uh, market analyzer so let's go ahead and uh, move on with the auto trades we're gonna uh, start with uh, um, we're gonna start with the uh, precision auto trade uh, we still have uh, around uh, five charts it's not uh, finished yet and uh, we have uh, let's start with the first one uh, this is uh, the Nasdaq is already on the last trade made 895 and we have uh, we have 3500 on this one here and um, we're gonna close this one and uh, here it is we had one small trade losing trade winning trade winning trade winning trade and uh, this is uh, the first one then uh, we have the Russell it's already made 650 on the previous trade and uh, we have oh, 1,800 and we end up with 2,300 this is beautiful on the Russell I normally don't trade the Russell um, uh, but uh, we have some <coughs> good size of traders uh, they, they love the Russell and uh, that's fine uh, the YM uh, we're gonna close it 1880 and then we're gonna leave this one here I always uh, show uh, that the tick chart a uh, 590 on the Nasdaq and I have been mentioned uh, non-stop on this um, on this Nasdaq is always consistent and then we have uh, the 24 seconds still on I'm gonna leave it on and uh, the, the range is just closed right now in it yes this was nice trades 1 2 17 50 and uh, I'll let it run for a while this one here um, CL uh, the 20 all of them they are on 1000 and uh, the DAX today uh, I took one run on it early today and um, and I didn't do anything with it the market was not really trending that much so took one trade you normally on the DAX one or two trade you should be done one minute CL uh, three minutes EAS and uh, the 10 second is my favorite chart and the reason is uh, we we have a lot of a lot of traders cannot read most of the traders cannot read when the market is not moving or there is a chop in the market most of the auto trade that will fail on 10 seconds but uh, this one here the precision auto trade it is amazingly works with the trend and reverse and um, and it is a you know very smart using the latest technology 
and it does not require any filter this is what the beauty about it is just very friendly use takes any trader a couple days to learn how to optimize it and run it and uh, if you if you notice how it's trading with the trend reverse trading with the trend and then i didn't want to run it anymore because this market today was was not on the best uh, way to trend so on days like this once you once you are done you're done so this is uh, the precision auto trade uh, i'm gonna show a different type of an auto trade totally different type this is a totally uh, different type of an auto trade uh, this is uh, the scalper the the precision auto trade and the scalper they are extremely friendly use and uh, very very easy to maintain very easy to optimize and uh, on this one here practically uh, you don't need to do anything you can optimize it and it is a scalper it's not um, uh, it is not uh, for swing trading but also if we noticed uh, we don't we don't have that many charts we only use those couple of three charts and um, uh, we cannot cover every single auto trade we have we have what almost 14 auto trade so we try to minimize as much as we can on each one and um, if you wanted to use a smaller time this is an example on 34 second you can uh, optimize it and it does a very good job it's pinpoint the entry and the exit and if you wanted to iron the the noises in the market you can do that and it is um, you can use also three minutes five minutes you can use a tick chart if you want or a rank bar or whatever you want it but when we try to show we try to always stick to the minutes and seconds because this is where you can see consistency so this is one type of a trade and uh, we covered that on the other channel today um, uh, on the other life channel today but actually uh, the best the one I like today with the trade is another type of an auto trade also we only have a couple of charts <coughs> Uh, this is the next generation automated to trade and uh, it is this is a very high advanced automated trade and actually uh, this one took us when we first started and go public took us six months to build and um, it is one of the most advanced and actually retailers should not have this kind of auto trade uh, this is a very advanced automated to trade and uh, it's uh, endless what you can do with it and works on all kind of measurement measure even the sellers and the buyers in the market the true buyers and sellers not uh, the ones they just put an order on the dome and uh, what I really like the most also this one here can trade with the trend or reverse but my favorite uh, chart today was this one here there is other auto trades made more money than this one here but what i like because it's just a new uh we we just rebuild it and we send it out to our uh, members but the way it took those trades here it means a lot to me that uh, this is what i've been working on to pinpoint where is the high highs and the low highs and and uh, nail it to the take where the pre precise entry has to be where uh, no matter how professional trader you are i can personally aim it like this you know and that's what i take my hat off the way the auto trade handle those two trades here that made my day because that indicate we are going in the right direction i didn't want to keep running it but we were done by by 10 38 this morning on the other room in the live room uh, on YouTube channel you can see the link below so this is 
uh, this is uh, really and you can see how it is really trying avoiding the chop where there is a chop this is a very high advance automated trade and uh, some people like easy auto trades and some people they like to scratch their head and um, they like a challenge and uh, and also there is for the guys that want to be in between so there is something for every single trader and uh, every budget so now i wanted to cover the last auto trade ti7 uh, auto trade and also uh, at the moment we are working uh, rebuilding the institutional auto trade also it is an amazing big auto trade with a bigger variety and uh, has a knowledge um, uh, can spot the market uh, if the trend is weak it's gonna avoid the trade and if the trend is strong it's gonna jump in into the trade that features is in the institutional auto trade it is a very very uh, advanced calculation in it so now let's go ahead and try uh, to cover the ti7 the ti7 uh, has a 10 different entry and a 10 different filter also it is a very amazing auto trade uh, the ti7 has always surprised me uh, the way it entered the market the reason on the ti7 there is uh, 10 different entries I have a three different scalper, one reversal. Um, because every instrument you can approach it differently and you can use a different filters. Uh, you can approach the ES differently than the NASDAQ. Because in this 2021, one entry, it's not going to do the trick to take all the trades. So sometimes you can get better results when you have an auto trade. Uh, can go in a different variety of entry and filter to tune that auto trade because every instrument have a personality the ES is not a NASDAQ the NASDAQ is not a Russell and we have seen that because we have a different uh, variety of auto trades and we can see on one auto trade uh, you see the NASDAQ can really spark and then you can see the ES on different auto trade can do a really good job. Like let's say uh, the the ten second on the ES with the with the precision auto trade, it is amazing. And uh, and um, on on uh, the 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 five hundred ninety ticks on the precision auto trade, it is amazing. And then here it is a different uh, different time frame and a different entries for every. Uh, instruments and uh, you can use uh, from the, the 12 range and uh, to the three minutes to even um, uh, 30 seconds or 10 seconds and, uh, and those are different time frame from CL NASDAQ I'm not gonna go through all of it CL 9 range CL 540 ES 500 so those are the takes and you can see they have this tension to get a big trades if you know how to set up your trailing stop. If you don't want to set, a, set up your trailing stop, you can put it on zero and then the auto trade can take over and uh, stay on the trade until the trend is changing and then he close and open a new trade. So this is all this small things does not come easy using the latest technology, algorithm, math, constantly uh, we are updating we have around 40 updates a year 35 updates and uh, we cannot keep up updating maintaining uh, because the market is going fast and if you don't update your system constantly it's not to just uh, be happy to have an auto trade an auto trade has to be maintained on both of uh, direction from the trader to tune the auto trade, optimize the auto trade. That's his job. Our job is to maintain the math on the algorithm and try to use the latest technology, the new math and the new calculation 
because this market is going extremely fast and if both don't stay on top of it then you're gonna fall behind absolutely it's no longer uh, auto trade based on ATRs MACDs and moving average those days are long gone 15 years ago so uh, this is a different let's say uh, ES one minute CL 300 ES five minutes whatever you want to do you can do with it you can trade Renko bar we have some people that like to use the nine minutes on the YM I don't but some people do uh, 13 range and uh, then uh, a Nasdaq also it is an idea for the uh, DAX 3700 3100 and we still have one trade on the uh, two minutes that's all what we have for you today guys and uh, we wish you the best and uh, we see you tomorrow on the other channel thank you very much and God bless you all bye for now